Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can make this communal sparrow nesting box and by that I mean a box where multiple birds can nest in it at the same time. These sections are cordoned off and the idea is to attract sparrows into your garden because currently unfortunately sparrows are in decline here in the UK. So uh, if you add one of these to the back wall of your house you're sure to attract a couple of sparrows. So for this project I'm going to be using scrap materials so I have some scrap pieces of pine and some scrap plywood and the first thing that I did was to measure up the uh, the side pieces so there's two sides and then two central pieces to uh, divide up the box So once I'd made the first cut, I then used that first cut piece as a template to cut the rest. So then I wanted to put a slight pitch on the roof I moved the mitre saw about half a centimetre or so just to put a slight mitre on each piece and it's not really important about the pitch of the roof just as long as it does have a pitch so that the rain can run off and again once I've made the first cut I used that piece as a template to cut the rest So now I wanted to make the front panel of the box and I'm using these side pieces here to just mark up the thickness and then I just used a circular saw to cut out the front panel. So I decided to make the width of the box 42 centimetres and that will allow me to have three sections for three separate birds. And then I just used an off cut of wood just to roughly work out the height that I wanted the holes to be. This doesn't really matter, um, I just wanted them off centre just slightly up towards the top of the box. And then I did a quick bit of maths to work out where to put these holes. I divided the 42 centimetre width into six sections and then marked out three sections for the holes. So to cut the holes, I'm using a force and a bit. You can also use a spade bit, and for sparrows, it's recommended to use um, to have a 32 millimeter hole. So that was the front panel done. So now I need to make the back panel and again I'm using the side pieces to work out the thickness and using the circular saw to cut it out. Using the front panel as a template for the back panel, I can make sure that the widths are exactly the same. So 
So now I'm going to get these parts of the box assembled, starting with the first side piece. So each hole is countersunk and I just added a bit of glue and a few screws and I'm using the clamp just to help me to assemble it. And the same again with the back panel. And you can see because of the pitch of the roof, the back panel is slightly taller than the front panel. So now I need to make the base and again I'm going to use the, that piece of plywood and I'm just drawing around the box now. So now I added the other two central divides so there's the two outer sections and the two central sections and again I'm going to just make some pilot holes and screw these into place. Once the front was screwed in, I just used the speed square to help me get everything lined up nicely. And I could then screw the back in. So I then cut out the base with a jigsaw. And I added the base to the box. I just glued up all around these edges. And then used some panel pins to attach the base. So I then just knocked up a quick jig with four holes in it so that I could put drainage holes in each section and just get the holes the same every time. So now I need to make the roof of the box and I'm just offering up the box and drawing around it and I want it to have an overhang on the sides and the front so I'm just using the ruler here to just give it that extra overhang all the way around the sides and front And again, I cut out the roof with the jigsaw. So 
So then I gave everything a sanding down with an 80 grit sandpaper. For the roof I used some ebony outdoor stain. So this came out really dark, almost black. And for the main body of the bird box, I'd mixed up this uh, kind of pistachio green color um, out of just a few old tubs of stain, um, a few different colors, mixed them all together and came out with this nice shade of green. And I gave everything two coats. Now I just needed to get the roof on. So I used the ruler to help me position it. And then I used these hinges to attach the roof on, which would give me the option to open the roof up if I ever wanted to um, clean out these boxes. And again, I'm just drilling some pilot holes here. So you can see the lid opens. It just sounds like it needs a splash of oil. Now I just need to um, add a fixing on the back so that the box can be attached to a house, a wall or a fence. So I'm just using like a picture frame hanger here. You can use two, one at each end if you like. And that was the box complete. And it's recommended that you hang a sparrow box between north and east and have it between two to four meters off the ground. So that's about it for this video guys. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to give me a like and also consider subscribing for more DIY related videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.